What's going on Lawn Care Nation? So we're out in the shop today and uh, a few of you have probably seen my shop before. It's not a real big shop. I have a small 10 by 20 uh, storage building that I work out of that I keep all my equipment in. And uh, it's amazing I can get it all in here. When I need to get it in, I can. It's uh, it's like putting together a puzzle piece. I probably need to invest in a, in a little bit bigger shop. But for now, for the time being, this works out just fine. Uh, I'll give you a quick tour here. So around on this side over here, of course, you know, we've got the FW15, we've got the WeBang, we've got the accelerator, got the Billy Goat. That's my heating system right there. That's how I heat the place. And we've got a couple spreaders. We've got the detached leaf plow. And uh, back on this side over here, you know, I keep like a pressure washer, a vacuum. I keep all of my stuff that I'm working with up here. Uh, I keep everything in totes. Uh, you look up here, all of my stuff is toted up. Uh, and labeled what's in it. Everything gets toted and labeled. Um, keep all, like I said, all my tools and everything out here. Um, it's not a real big area, so you don't have to have a huge shop to uh, to run your business out of. It does help, but you don't necessarily have to have it. So, but what I want to do this video about is I got something in the mail yesterday when I got home, and I'm super pumped about this. Which you all know that I bought a Walker this year. And I'm going to show you the walker blades real quick. So when you look at a walker blade, uh, you notice that uh, the blade itself is a uh, it's reverse rotation. So one blade goes on one side, one blade goes on the other. So you notice that uh, the blades are, are completely opposite of each other. Uh, you can see there's a cutting edge on that side and a cutting edge on this side. So on and so forth. So when I I use the All American sharpener, which most of you have seen before, which is this one right here. I use the 5005 series. Let me get it to focus. I use the uh, 5005 series All American blade sharpener, and I just mount that to a bench, and then I use an angle grinder to uh, with a flat disc on it to sharpen my mower blades. Well, since I bought the Walker, the 5005 does not do the uh, the Walker blades. So the uh new package coming in the mail so let's see what we got in here in here and uh a lot of you uh got a little note there that's awesome and hey i paid for i paid for my uh new sharpener so inside here we've got some tool bag and then we've got the new sharpener and the thing and let me move this stuff out of the way Okay, so now you can see. You see the difference. This is the new 5005 Generation 2 sharpener. Uh, you notice the extended arm on this. It's got a much longer arm than the original 5005. So there's the model number, 5005. And there's the new model number, 5005 Gen 2. So with that extended arm, what I can do is now I can sharpen walker blades because it's got a longer arm on it. So Let's put this thing together real quick and show you guys how it works. Okay, so inside the package, you're gonna get four guide pins. And these guide pins, what they're gonna do is actually, uh, depending on which grinder you have, which I have the DeWalt 4011, which is right there. So you put the guide pin into the, uh, into the, uh, the grinder itself. So that way you can uh, use that to attach to this portion of the sharpener, which is just a jig. It's it's, it's a simple concept here. Works absolutely great for what I do, which I've already got a guide pin in my grinder, so I'm not going to change that out. So what I am going to do is we're going to put together the mounting bracket. The mounting bracket very simply just goes right on the front, just like so. You take the supplied screws here, or bolts, I'll screw those in nice and snug here, just enough to where I can get my uh, Allen key on it. Let me grab my Allen keys. All 
All right, so I've got my Allen keys here. I'm just gonna snug it nice and tight there. And you could probably put some Loctite on the back side of this if you wanted to. I'm, uh, I'm okay, I don't really need it. And so the only thing that you will have to buy separate is I just use these uh, these little screws here to, to hold it on my bench. It works fine, I've been using them for a while. So let's mount it. And this is just a half inch socket. That's much faster. All right, so now, now that you have that on, simply just take your blade and these are shim pins here. You can shim them up or down to get it underneath the uh, the blade good and good and secure if you want to. Drop that in. Screw that in tight. And now what you can do from this point is you check the angle of your blade. So all I got to do now is just take my grinder. You open the arm up on the grinder. Slide the protective cover out. Take your grinder, sit it in there. And then you've got a, uh, a nut here. You've got a nut right here that you can uh, make sure that's showing there good. So you've got a nut right here that you can actually uh, tighten up just uh, to make sure that uh, you can slide it back or forth to adjust it to make sure that your grinder is actually on this blade properly. So once you have it mounted onto the board, like I do here, you simply just, like I said, you put the screws in and then you have your, right here, you have your angle of choice. So you can pick your angle. Right now it's set at 30 degrees. So, you know, we can check and see just something that's kind of hard to do from this side. So we're gonna check from this side here. And uh, so it looks like we're gonna have to adjust it over just a hair because we are too far over. So let's adjust that. All right, so now that we adjusted it over, I'm gonna show you here what we've done. You take, uh, all you need to do is you need to take and loosen this up and then screw this out. And what that's gonna do is allow you to slide the angle grinder itself to the left or the right, wherever you need it, to where it physically moves it right on that angle. Now, when you come around here and you look, you'll notice that it is right on the angle it needs to be on. And most people think all mower blades are at 30 degrees, but if you'll notice, that's on 40 degrees. So, the grinder itself, or the blade on a walker, is 40 degrees. That's the factory angle on this blade, so it's a 40 degree angle on this blade. Now, this is an Oregon blade, this is not a factory walker blade. Factory walker blade may be a little bit different from this one, as far as the, uh, the angle, but this is set at 40 degrees. So that's the way it came, it was 40 degrees from the factory, so that's where I'm going to actually 
sharpen it at is at 40 degrees every time uh, my ferris blade i believe is set at about 34 degrees uh, it's not actually at uh, about 34 35 degrees it's not actually at uh, um, 30 degrees either so anyway guys that's just a quick little uh, tutorial there how to put the all-american sharpener together get it ready to go you've seen that took me all of five six minutes i'm ready to rock and roll and i can actually sharpen multiple different angles of blades uh, just use a flat disc on an angle grinder and and you're all set uh, one thing to remember when you are sharpening these blades is always sharpen going up don't ever sharpen coming down you always go up with it every time you uh you make a pass i should probably need to show you a quick uh idea here so as you can see when you sharpen you always sharpen going up then lift it up come back down sharpen going up and then come back down don't ever uh, don't ever sharpen just going down so so always make sure you sharpen going up don't ever sharpen coming back down always just do it going up so anyway guys it's a rainy day here today we are uh we're doing some work here in the shop. Like I said, I cleaned up a little bit in here today and uh, got everything back into order. And uh, the next one is uh, is tackling the truck. Is anybody else's truck a mess? I know mine is an absolute disaster. Anyway, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.